Okay, um, my name is Arielle, and when I was 18 years old, I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. Now, I am not a doctor. This is just my personal experience with the disorder and what I have gathered from different sources of different sources of information that are, that are related to my symptoms. Now, I ha I have had mental health issues just about my entire life. But it was kind of a shock to me when I was diagnosed with borderline at 18. I'm 20 now. I'm 20. Because for years, I thought that I had dependent personality disorder. And the symptoms are a lot alike, including fear of abandonment. Now, <clears throat> borderline personality disorder can be caused by trauma, mainly childhood trauma, or biological factors, you know, heredit her being hereditary, mental health issues, getting it from your parents, relatives, and I have a mixture of both. A lot of my problems stem from a sexual trauma that I experienced in my childhood, and I have bad mental health problems on both sides of my family. Borderline personality disorder, any mental health problem, any mental health disorder is a living nightmare to deal with, and specifically borderline personality disorder. Now, I have my fear of abandonment problems and my self-esteem problems from being abandoned by my family, my father's family, when I was a child. And that's something that I still carry with me to this day because it's something that has never been resolved in my life. My father committed suicide when I was four years old. Um, that, that has probably also contributed to my fear of abandonment and my low, my, my low self-esteem problems. You know, I've told myself, if I'm not good enough for my father's family, then if I'm not good enough for my own family, then who will I ever be good enough for, you know? <clears throat> A big symptom of borderline personality disorder is black and white thinking. We only see things in black and white. We do not see or understand things unless they are black and white which means we, also, we often feel in extremes. We think in extremes. There is no in-between in anything in our lives. It's all one thing, one extreme, or nothing at all. That's often why we have a hard time understanding things. It's because we just, we just don't see things unless they were very, very black and white. Healthy relationships for us are incredibly difficult because we come from such a state of lack and trauma that when we finally get someone that means something to us, we latch on like a grappling hook. There is no other reason for me to be living in this world other than this person. And that creates resistance between us and the person that we are hooked onto. Some people with borderline personality disorder or BPD have problems staying committed to one person. I have the complete opposite problem. I stay committed to people who are not committed to me. I stay committed in relationships that do not benefit me how they should, but I still see it as there is no other reason for me to be living in this world than this person. Borderline personality disorder comes with extreme mood swings, just constant anger being triggered by the most tiniest little things, constant unstable self-image, a constant feeling of just emptiness. There, I have no ambition. I have no reason for living. There's just a complete void that is never, ever going to be filled.
and it's incredibly difficult to be treated with medication because there are so many symptoms. I have never to this day found a medication that has ever been able to help me or work for me. I hope this video helps someone. Um, it's just a little video on my personal experience with BPD. And I'm sure there's a lot more that I haven't touched on in this video. And um, let me know if you would like more videos on this serious, serious topic and this horrendous lifelong mental disorder. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Thanks.